Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I am so excited to be back here with this year's Plan, Pray, Pursue 2024. Um, we are talking to Felicia Roberts, everyone. This woman is a courageous woman, yeah. courageous woman of God. Um, and she is a back this year as one of our speakers uh, for our Plan, Pray, Pursue conference. And our theme this year is bloom, bloom, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And we see, when we talked last year about those flowers back there. We, we're taking on that that concept of, of flourishing and blooming. And so I'm so excited uh, that God has given us another opportunity to come back and share with you this year. Uh, Felicia, how are you? I am well, Pastor Ebony, and I'm so glad to be back here with you ladies this year. So thank you for having me back again. I'm excited. Thank for you for coming back. <laughs> right. Can you believe it? 2024, this is year five that we have hosted the Plan, Pray, Pursue conference. Um, I said the first, very first conference we did, it was very small and we did it in person. And then we had to go to virtual due to COVID. And, um, and we just kept on with virtual because right now we're reaching women nationwide, actually worldwide, because we have women tune in from different parts of the world um, and join us at this conference. And so I am so thankful that you have decided to be with us this year. You know, tell us a little bit, you know, you I, I've been watching you and I keep up with you. I'm now one of your uh, followers and supporters and, um, and tell us what uh, you've been doing this year. What's different with you from last year? What's different with you this year? Yeah, yes. This year, I've really been focusing on um, making sure that I have services that meet um, the needs of my, you know, the, the women that God has called me to serve. And so I did something a little unique this year, just recently, where mm -hmm. I did some coffee chats. Right. And um, I put out just a, a call to the women and said, hey, if you are 40 plus divorced um, woman in leadership, you know, and I can't believe the amount of women that responded to, to hop on a call with me for coffee chats. And I did that for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. Since the Lord had called me to this uh, last year, year before last, um, I wanted to make sure that I was still on target with what women need today. Okay. I got divorced 10 years ago. So I wanted to make sure that I was not applying something old mm -hmm. to something new that God wanted to do. And so... I'll tell you what was really special though. And after I would get off each call with the women, uh, I recognized and the Lord just showed me that the things that used to make us cry, mm. we were now able to chuck about, chuckle about, <laughs> we would have good old laughs on the calls. And some of these, I didn't know them from a can of beans, yeah. but they were so excited uh, to share their story and to, of course, answer some of my questions. But I mean, it was places where they knew that they had overcome. So yeah. that was exciting this year, just to kind of get together with ladies. And again, like you said, virtual affords us that opportunity to reach people out of state. Yeah. Um, and so that was has been awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, I noticed that you've been doing, like you have these master classes that, yes. you're, that you're organizing, that you're hosting. And I think it's so uh, essential that, you know, um, even though your your ministry is focused towards divorcees, I think your messaging is is so useful to anyone who has suffered any type of loss, yeah. right? Like, yeah. you know, that place of, because divorce is, you go through a period of grieving. And so yes. I love that you, you found so many ways and, and you have so many unique, um, you know, kind of like programming to reach women where they are. You yes. know, like your pop up prayer and yes. um and so I love that about um what you're doing. I'm always excited about it. I know you have a book. What what's the name of your book again? So my book is called You Can Again, Picking Up the Shattered Pieces After Divorce. Yes. So, yes. So I have done so had some opportunities to vend and and uh uh and speak at various events around uh, locally, which has been awesome and making some connections. And I also did a book study, uh, a devotion this year with women. Oh, wow. And I reached a woman in Canada. Really? <laughs> you see? Global. <laughs> 
And she still, we still contact, you know, how are you doing? Hope things are going well. But I led women through a seven week uh, Bible study of Elijah. Yeah. Um, oh, it wow. was just profound. Um, yeah. So, yeah, just really wanted to to do some things that way as well to reach women in a variety of ways. Yes. And, you know, we do these speaker interviews for the reason really is to help uh, those who are at, just inquiring or considering coming to the conference. We do it so that they can get to know you. They can they can connect and they can hear your heart. They can see your face. They can hear your voice prior to the conference and say, you know, I, I what she said resonates with me and I want to hear more from her. And so these interviews are one, they're full of their, I'm always blessed to, to hear what's going on with everyone. But they're really a, a opportunity for us to introduce you to um, who we hope to become uh, those who we're going to uh, serve at this conference. You know, this year's theme is Bloom. Mm. And, you know, last year we did Reignite and you brought the house down. <laughs> you brought the house That's down, word. right? That's a word, yes. And, um, and it was it, it was profound. And, and even <clears throat> when when you know, as we were working on uh, the Reignite Conference, you know, the Lord always speaks to me about what's next, right? And so last year, we're talking about reigniting the flame, the fire um, within us, the, the fire of God in us. Yeah. And then from the fire, the Lord speaks to me about bloom. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Lord, those, that's so far. <laughs> but those, they're not on the same page. Yes. But, you know, for us, you know, this blooming, what he really spoke to me about, and I know that this is, this could really be planted in, and kind of emerge from your ministry and your, what you're doing, your coaching. And that is, is that, you know, we have, as long as we're planted in Christ, right? Like as long as that's where we, our roots are, yes. you know, plants thrive and then they go through seasons of withering and they go through yes. seasons of dormancy and but even in all of those moments that might externally look uh like deserted or might look mm. broken the mm -hmm. roots being planted in christ there is life there and that as long as you're rooted in him you will bloom and flourish yes. again yes. and i love that you, what you talk to women about in this place of loss in this place, some time of desertion because some yeah. women are left yes. by their spouses. And, you know, there's all sorts of trauma related yeah. that a woman may not be feeling like uh, she has a, her a beauty or she has, um, you know, anything to offer anymore. Yes. And so what would you talk to a woman from a perspective of blooming and being planted? Yeah. What would you say to a woman in that place? That is so good. Um, let me tell you something. It's so relevant to the process that God takes us through when we when we lose or when we have suffered a loss or a pain or, like you said, trauma. And thinking about how he uses that as we're centered in him and the process that it takes in order for us to grow into the flower that he and already intended for us to be. Like we had the injury. Right. But because we're rooted in him and we receive our nourishment, which is his word and community, all the things that we need to get up and push through. Right. The darkness as we when you plant a seed, push through the ground so that you come up out of that of ashes mm. to be who we called you to be. Like, That's so this true. is just so relevant again. To yes. that process. And when you look at a flower and the process that it has to go through and the colors that it takes yes. on yes. and the petals are all different shapes and sizes, yes. but they still make up that, you know, that beautiful rose or I love tulips, yeah. um, you know? And so it really, uh, it really sp speaks to me again, yet again, this year, thinking about that process and it has to be watered, right? So women, we have to allow ourselves to um, take the time out as in our healing journey. You don't mm -hmm. have to be superwoman. So that whole process of 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 the bloom or the planting of a seed to see a flower come forth is is this the same? Yes. <laughs> it's so relevant. <laughs> you know, you said two things here that, and I'm hoping my, my I'm going to hold on. Lord, help me hold on to the thought. <laughs> slip it. Two things you said was first of all about those petals 
and that they're unique. Each one is unique. And so I, I, I would love for you to just talk real quick <clears throat> about everybody's unique journey yes. in this. Like, like your, your, your blooming and your, your process, like you're talking about is may not look like everyone else's. Right. And you may think that somehow you're behind or yes. that you're not healing or that you're not getting over it fast enough or, or whatever it looks like because somebody else's process yeah. looks different. You know, uh, I would love for you to <clears throat> speak to us, you know, about that. Um, just that, uh, uh, I don't, how do I say, about trusting the process. Yeah. During, trusting the process during the process, really. Yes. And um, that it's, and to be okay with it not looking like everyone yeah, else's. Yeah, this is, you know, this is one of the things that I really try to, when I'm working with women, help them understand that their journey is their journey. And it doesn't have to look like, I'll tell you one of the, the myths that I love to bust up and it's, and it really is a, but it's these um, divorce parties, right? Hmm. That uh, people can find themselves encouraging women, well, have a divorce party and you'll, you know, you'll be okay. But it's yeah. like, but, but wait a minute, when she leaves the divorce party, who 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 is there in the dark? Um, yeah. So we had the party, but but the journey still is the journey. <laughs> so um, right. so helping women understand what their process is and how to and I I, I don't like using weight on God, but walk with God mm -hmm. through that process so that he can refine you and bring you to the place that he already called you to. And I always tell women, he already knew about it. Oh, we serve true. a God that he knew that day was coming for you. The day yeah. of loss, the day he knew it was coming. Yeah. So he's now just waiting on this side, mm -hmm. right? To walk you through that the, the process with him. And I will tell you, for me, it was like he gave me enough light for the step that I was on. And I found his care that way because I didn't have to try to rush two steps up or, you know, just w right here, stay right here with me. <laughs> I love that. Right? I love that. Yeah. That, that is so, that is so profound. And it, and I'm really hoping and praying that, you know, woman who's tuning into this uh, talk this today, um, when she, wherever she is, whatever kind of loss she's suffering, whether that is divorce uh, loss of a business, loss of a job, loss of a child or a loved yes. one, you know, that you said this thing and I, and it's so important, you know, we're going to, we're going to really explore all oh, the speakers. I, I'm so excited about this year's speakers because we're really going to explore what the process, what does a flower go through? I can't wait to bloom. <laughs> right. And it's not overnight, you know, it's a process, right? Yeah just even the seed in the ground yes, and having to go through germination in order to create roots, to plant roots. It's a whole process, right? Yes. And But you said something so profound right now that God gave you enough light for the step that you were in in that moment. Yeah. And so it's so important, you know, that uh, we are careful with what we say and, and uh, how we handle and engage people who are suffering loss because sometimes the world will try to make you feel like you are taking too long to get over it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. You know, kind of like get over the divorce, have the divorce party girl. You're good. Like, no, right. you're not good. Like there's, there's a whole, you can't skip all the steps in between you. You got to go right. through the steps. So, so absolutely. I think that, and when you think about my God, <laughs> as you think about the seed that's planted it can't look when you look at the back of if you bought uh planting seeds that your potting seeds, yes. it tells you how many days specifically before yes. you expect that plant to come through the soil. Yes. It can't come through any sooner than it's already designed. That's so good. It yes. tells you how much light it needs. Yes. It tells you whether you can keep it in the shade or whether you need to put it in the light. Right? So yes. how much more care? Does mm. God care for us? Right? It, Don't get so, me started past Ebony. <laughs> listen, I love that it's personal. And I and I want women to, you know, we do ministry in a different way. Pastor Samuel and I here at Experience Church. And 
Yeah. And it's all about really personal. Yeah. Um, because we, you know, and that's that's us, right? And and uh and you have to learn how to embrace what what gifts God has given you. Yes. And and how he uh gives you opportunity to use them. But it's so important that, you know, a women step back from the group, right? Mm. Like when you're going through this, step back from the group yep. and go uh, into that intimate place with the Lord and allow him yes. to nourish you yep. back to health, back yep. to wellness. You will bloom again yes and you will flourish and you will thrive as long as you are planted in him yeah. right yeah that's good and so i love that i'm i'm hoping that someone is encouraged today and that they're going to come and and listen uh to you know all that we have to share with them you know uh you shared a bit about you know just your journey and everything and and um, I am so thankful that God has just healed you. Yeah. Can I say that? Can Amen. I say thank you, thank you, Absolutely. Jesus, Absolutely. for healing Felicia? Yeah. So that you can use her in yep. this mighty way to minister and to bring so many women out of darkness. Like you're reaching your hand yes. out and saying, "I've been there." Yeah. And I did the work. Yes. And I'm just sharing with you the work that God the past and the process. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that you were not, you didn't skip anything, everything that you're sharing with the women you had to do. Absolutely. You, you had to do your, the work and, and the Holy spirit just, and like you said, your divorce was 10 years ago and, and God has been working on you all in between. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, just thank you for saying yes to him. Hey, absolutely. To do this, to, to do what you're doing. And, yeah. um, and you always have my support. Damn. You know, what are some things, uh, before we do that, tell me why do you, I, we're not going to give away any talk kind of details, <laughs> but what is it, just one small thought uh, that you are hoping women walk away with from your talk? Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> so I, without giving it away, uh, the really, I'm all about the, the pragmatic tools, we can go to conferences, we can go to women's events, but what type of tool do I need to walk away with today that will help me take the next step? And so that is my hope is that women will understand where they are in their journey, because I think that's key too. Yes. Understand where you are, because you may be further along than you think you are mm. once you hear and you surround yourself in this environment. So understanding where you are and then being able to take the tools to take the next step in where you are okay. and okay. honoring where you are. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Right. Honoring where you are. Yeah. That's wonderful. You know, we've done, like I said, this is year five. This is your second special time year. With us. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, what would you say to women that from your experience, what's, what's different about this conference? My God. Uh, well, first of all, the leadership. Uh, the Mukasas are just um, genuine um, and it shows through the screen because we have not physically met. Right. We uh, haven't, have we? We have not physically met, but you're, the, you're, the spirit of your ministry. Um, and I will always say that really one of the things that stood out to me was your uniqueness and how you reach the people of God, your, your ministry. Um, and when I heard that you all did like church on the beach, I was just like, like, uh, and I, cause I'm all about authentic relationship with God and however you get to his people. And so I believe that is what's special about this ministry. It's authentic. Mm. Um, and you all just have a heart for God's people and it's evident. Oh, it's wow. Evident. Praise God. That's, I was expecting that answer, but thank oh, you. That's, that's encouraging. Yes. That is really encouraging. And we all need that encouragement. You know, you have some projects coming up and uh, I would love for you to tell us about your, your upcoming project. Yes, yes. So I got, got a few things. One of the things I'm working on is some journals. So last year, I love to journal and um, the Lord has really been, just been pushing me in the way of developing some journals for women as well. 
And um, so I'm in the middle of, of that and I'm excited for adding that to my products along right. with my t-shirts and stuff. So that's one of the things I'm working on. And you know, some days it can feel kind of, <laughs> you got so many irons in the fire, yes. but um, like what's the next priority? And that is, is, is to get those done and ready for, uh, for women to serve that's them in wonderful. 2024. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So you all look out for that. Um, we, once you, once you, uh, we're getting ready to close, but Felicia's, uh, information will be on the screen shortly so that you can have all, uh, the info to reach out to her, attend her, uh, master classes, her, what you call those coffee, uh, coffee chats, coffee, coffee chats, chats. All come out. Yeah. Come on, right? Go and, you know, yes. get reserved. Follow her on social media. Uh, schedule a one-on-one. -on -one, you yes. know, coach with her. Um, oh, get her book. Look, I love it. Because, I mean, we got we got a shopping cart right now full of stuff. Get her book. You know, get ready to get a journal. I love, Those things excite me. Yeah. Because I just, it just says, God, you are expanding. Yes. You are expanding and it and that's a blessing and, and it's 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 so needed. You're it's so needed. Yeah. And so I want to thank you yes. for coming back um with all your zest and your oh. beautiful smile. Yes. And and I know you bring in the fire because you always do, even I'm though we excited. got we're blooming. <laughs> Felicia brings the fire. <laughs> I'm excited. And, I'm excited. And so anybody tuning in to this interview, I want to encourage you now uh, to register at planpraypursue.org um, and get your, reserve your ticket, get your ticket, uh, save the date. It's January 5th and 6th, uh, the Friday evening. And then we're going to go to about 2.30 on Saturday. We have prizes. We're going to do worship. We got prayer. We got these amazing talks. It's going to be fabulous. It's all, it always is. Yes. And so tune in. And so thank you again. We've got other speaker interviews coming up. So look out for them. Follow us. Get ready. It's conference time. And so yes. have a good one. We look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye, buddy.